The challenge for an artist is often how to make a living without compromising the artistic quality of the work. For Brisbane photographer Craig Holmes, it's been a long haul. He's been working as a photographer for 20 years, for the past eight, struggling to make it on his own. Well, now Craig's gaining, gaining international recognition for his unique style of underwater photography, as Ellen Carpenter reports. Water's always been a passion of mine. I, um, I sort of jumped in the, in the pool with a camera uh, after I'd been a, a photographer for about 20 years. So I, I became totally obsessed with uh, the effects of uh, water, not only on, on people but on the images and um, how relaxed, particularly children, become and uh, in the water. Craig Holmes sees special things in ordinary scenes. Yeah, they're everyday moments that no one's ever bothered to capture on film. I don't say that, but uh, uh, I think um, a lot of them, the, the approach is quite new. Well, I work off people's energy. So much energy, just so much vibrant energy there. Craig Holmes' career started 20 years ago in a dark room at Brisbane's Career Mail newspaper. These days he has his own business and his own special photographic technique. He calls it sculptured reflection and it's gaining interest around the country and overseas. Craig's male nude recently won the Australian category in the Ballantines Photography Award. It was also a runner-up in the international competition chosen from 10,000 entries. Craig's work is featured in prestigious French photo magazines and Closer to Home is part of an exhibition at the Queensland Art Gallery. When I photographed this, this was one of, one of the first days I ever was in the water with a camera and it was a very simple camera. It wasn't complicated. It was uh, one of the most simplest underwater cameras you can get. And um, I think, you know, I think it, it just shows you that, you know, if, if your heart's in it, you can get it anyway and this kid just dived in and went, <laughs> caught him in mid-flight so i'm a great one for supporting queensland talent and uh, and uh, very happy really that we have somebody up there in the international circuit who is being original i think it's terribly difficult in this day and age to be original and to find a whole new way of seeing the world It's that special knack that's won Craig much acclaim and numerous other awards for more conventional documentary work. But it's his reflection technique that's now carving Craig a niche in the competitive world of artistic photography. Today, Craig's heading to Stradbroke Island for a fashion shoot. The conditions don't look good, but it's still early and the models have to be carefully prepared. I think a lot of photography is done underwater, mostly on scuba. And that gives the scuba divers a chance to photograph coral reefs, fish, marine animals. And, um, but to go down there free diving, uh, especially in pools and creek locations uh, where people are just enjoying themselves, and a, a you know, beautiful lake location like this where you can cover and get close to people without any restrictions whatsoever and talk to your subjects. I think it's quite different. So arms out in front, down by your side, do various movements. Okay, let's go. What are you trying to achieve? Something different, something that People will look at the image and, and 
query how is that done and how is that shot. Uh, it's a challenge to um, to achieve the results. The, the perfect oh, the, the perfect result is always uh, unseen, and you know you, you just never know what you're going to get with this sort of photography because it is the location and and the weather conditions, as you know, like wind or whatever can change your reflections and give you a different distortion. So it's a challenge to pull it off and make it work. <laughs> The results speak for themselves. But when Craig's marketing manager and wife, Emmanuel, took his work to Europe recently, they were both overwhelmed by the response. Craig's work was uh, held to be technically excellent and uh, artistically quite different and uh, challenging. Um, it's hard in photography to come up with, um, with new ideas, um, new methods of composition, um, and yeah, people were really taken by it. Still, Craig remains a Brisbane boy and refreshingly modest about his recent award achievements. I tend to think awards are great, but, but then the, the, the commercial brief and the commercial assignments are, are, the, are the ultimate. Do you look forward to the day when people know who Craig Holmes is? No, I, no, I look forward to the day when people recognise my work more than more than my name, I think um, the work's always the mo most important thing. Ellen Carpenter reporting and our cameraman on that story was Max Higgins.